Paul Skeens has taken MLB by storm, but his lifestyle is definitely not what you think. Hit the intro. And now it's Skeens versus Otani. How do you like this show? <laughs> How do you like this show, Pittsburgh? Paul Skeens, my mom is single, bro. I need you. Skeens has proved he's here to stay. So let's quickly start things off with his background and his insane early career. Paul David Skeens was born on May 29th, 2002 in Fullerton, California. He grew up in a family of servicemen, but we'll dive into that shortly. Skeens grew up in Lake Forest, California and attended El Toro High School, the alma mater of Nolan Arenado and Matt Chapman. As a freshman, he was six foot one, he played three years of varsity baseball as a two-way player. He played catcher, first base, and third base in addition to pitching. In his junior season, he posted an insane .67 ERA. During his senior year, he was named captain and somehow improved his ERA to .33. After graduating in 2020, he honored his commitment to play baseball at the United States Air Force Academy. With his sights set on the military, he opted for a relief pitcher role during his first year in 2021, though that didn't stop him from being named freshman of the year. That's driven. Deep left, the late break by Grady, but he's got no shot anyway. It's over the fence. Skeens, two run home runs, second blast of the inning for Air Force. He joined the Cape Cod League for the summer, and the following year, he was awarded the John Olerud Award for the best two-way player in college baseball. The one, two, to right with some carry. This ball's got a lot of carry. Get out of town, opposite field solo shot. Second in two games, six in the season for Paul Schools. Though he took his time at the Air Force Academy very seriously, and his coach even shared this story. We play retreat and we bring the flag down to the national anthem. And we see, see two football managers in an open air video booth, and they're not quite at a position of attention. The song ends. Skeens immediately races up the hill and confronts these two cadets at our school and says, we just lost 13 Americans over in Afghanistan. Stand at a freaking proper position of attention. He was forced to make a tough decision in 2022. Follow his Air Force dream of becoming a fighter pilot or pursue what looked like a promising baseball career. He put aside catching and hitting to focus on pitching and subsequently entered the NCAA transfer portal. We say all the time, big league stuff, but this is big league ready stuff. After transferring to LSU, he broke the all-time SEC record for strikeouts in a single season. LSU would advance to the 2023 College World Series. Skeen struck out 12 en route to a championship victory and a World Series MVP award. Paul, you told me your next biggest dream was winning a national championship. That's what I came here to do. Um, it's what all of us came here to do, and, and we did it, so it's extremely gratifying. Let's briefly go over his professional career. And trust me, it's not what you think. The Pittsburgh Pirates selected Skeens with the first overall pick of the 2023 MLB Draft. Absolutely amazing. Can't even really put it in words. It's a lot of work and a lot of, you know, surrounding myself with the right people and doing the right thing for a long period of time. And it feels like something good really happened. He signed with the Pirates in July for a $9.2 million signing bonus, the highest ever for a drafted player. MLB ranked him as the top pitching prospect in the league. Also at that time, he shared his secret meal that he eats before every outing. Okay, Paul, do you really eat chicken Alfredo before every meal? Actually, yeah, I had it yesterday, yeah. Every single one? Every, yeah, every outing. A couple weeks ago, we chicken had a, a rain delay, and I had two chicken Alfredos. Later in 2023, Skeens was assigned to the rookie-level Florida Complex League. Skeens fires a 3-2, and it's in there for strike three. Five days later, he was promoted to the single-A Bradenton Marauders. And six days after that, to the double-A Altoona Curve. Skeens began the 2024 season with the triple-A Indianapolis Indians. He pitched to a .99 ERA. Pitch in is just inside. Is the pitcher going to challenge? Normally, all these managers tell their pitchers, don't challenge, let the catcher do it. But he's he right, right, it's a strike. Yeah. On May 11th, 2024, the Pirates selected Skeens' contract and promoted him to the major leagues for the first time. 
The moment has arrived. One of the most highly anticipated debuts in the history of Pittsburgh sports as the Pirates welcomed in Paul Skeens. In his MLB debut, he struck out seven, but surrendered three earned runs in a no decision. Boy, that's just nasty. That's a backdoor curveball. Oh, that's up and away. And it just comes back, catches that outside corner. But his second career start was when people really started to learn his name. He struck out 11 and allowed no hits through six innings. A couple weeks later, he earned a win on his birthday, striking out nine. 100, three pitches. Carson Kelly had a leadoff base hit, and there's strikeout number nine. He's quickly become a fan favorite in Pittsburgh, and even more so around the entire league. Also at this time, he became known for his signature mustache. He's got a great mustache. Yeah, I'm fantastic. Really super tall. Yeah. Just dropping, man. Wow. Huge ass. Mm -hmm. yeah. National champion, throws gas. They call him the gas station. And Pirates fans have even adopted the look. And then I got to ask about your mustache. When did you decide that was going to be your signature look? Yeah, I didn't know I could grow a mustache until, I don't know. I, I, I know I stopped shaving when we played Old Miss. I ran out of razors, so. <laughs> And I just decided to keep the mustache, shave everything else. I didn't know I could grow a mustache. My dad's never had a mustache, so. Peeking now into his personal life. We mentioned before that he comes from a family of servicemen. Two of his uncles are Navy veterans and another is actively serving in the Coast Guard. Paul also admitted that he plans to join the military after his MLB career. Serving is still in the picture because that's something that you can start doing when you're 40, 50. But I think, to be honest, you only get one shot at baseball right now. That, that was my goal when I entered the transfer portal and decided to come here. So I'm going to give it my best shot. Back at LSU, he did more than just launch his professional baseball career. He also met his current girlfriend, Livy Dunn. Olivia Dunn. On the floor exercise, a late addition. After the student athletes met at LSU through mutual acquaintances, they began sparking romance rumors when Dunn was seen wearing his jersey at the College World Series in June 2023. Livy is a social media star and a gymnast at LSU. She attended his MLB debut and even gave a mid-game interview. Better known today as Paul Skeen's girlfriend, but I know how hard he's worked for this moment, so this is probably one of my favorite moments I've ever seen. I'm just so proud. They would also attend LSU's football games together. Outside of baseball, Skeens enjoys self-help podcasts. I listen to Andrew Huberman's podcast, David Goggins, Joe Rogan. And he also enjoys fishing with fellow teammate Jared Jones. Paul even donated his NIL money to Folds of Honor, an organization that provides scholarships to the children and spouses of military and first responders families. Now for a little bit of controversy. His MLB career is still young, but that didn't stop his second outing from causing a few waves. Umpire Brian Onora had a correct call rate of only 84.8%. It was statistically the worst umpiring performance of the entire year. Though Paul admitted afterward that it didn't bother him too much. I like the human part of the game. Never in the history of baseball has a called striker, a called ball gotten overturned, and I, I love that part of it. Thanks for watching.